An argument over what to watch on TV led to the horrific double murder of a mother and her 10 year old son three years ago. And prosecutors say the man who did it is the mother's live in boyfriend, Tyrone Johnson. And now a jury will have to decide whether Johnson deserves the death penalty. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez tonight shows us the chilling evidence the jury was shown in court today. He was hiding from that man right there, Tyrone Johnson. Prosecutors say Tyrone Johnson killed his girlfriend and her 10 year old son. That he went and hunted down that little boy and shot him under a bed. Stephanie Willis and her son Ricky were found dead lying next to each other in a Tampa apartment complex they shared with Johnson. Prosecutors say the horrific events of October 21st, 2018, all began with an argument over what to watch on TV. Johnson's attorney says Stephanie had been drinking and things quickly got personal and the insults turned vile when Stephanie, they claim, insulted Johnson's son who had just died by suicide. Son, while your son killed himself like Johnson, they say, used FaceTime to call his father in South Carolina for help. His father witnessed some of the confrontation. He had just been trying to leave when Stephanie attacked him. That he hears the phone drop and two shots. They say he shot Stephanie twice and then went after the boy who they say was hiding under his bed. We have shell casings, we have blood, we have holes in the wall. Prosecutors say this was a cold and calculated double murder by Johnson, who deserves to pay with his life. However, the defense argues this was a crime of passion. But he did do this. It was manslaughter. And as he said on the 911 call, he is so very sorry for what happened. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Well, the trial is expected to last about two weeks, and if convicted of first-degree premeditated murder, Johnson would face life in prison or the death penalty.